Now I'm gonna go over the control subsystem. First, we have to draw a state diagram. And to do that, we have to look at the pseudocode that they give us and see how many states there are. So here we have six states. That's why I have six circles right here. And we can start at S1. So we're looking at S1 and saying that if start not, then go to S1. So we just have to draw a loop back to S1 if the condition is start not. Now, if this condition is not true, it's going to keep going. So from S1, it's going to move to S2 with the condition start. Because if this condition is not true, that means start is 1. So that's why I have start here. And it's just going to keep going. So from S1, it's going to move to S2. At S2, there's no condition. So like I said earlier, it's just going to keep going. So S2 is just going to move to S3 without any condition. And same thing at S3. There's no condition here, so I'm just going to move to S4 without any condition. Now at S4, if B7 not, then go to S3. So we have to draw an arrow from S4 to S3 with the condition B7 not. Okay, so if this condition is not true, it's going to keep going. So from S4, it's going to move to S5 with the condition B7. Because here we have B7 not. If this condition is not true, that means B7. We move to S5. Now from S5, the same thing. If C7 not, then go to S3. So we're going to draw an arrow from S5 to S3 with the condition of C7 not. And if this, condi if this condition is not true, then we're going to move to S6. So if it's not true, we keep going. Okay, so S5, we're moving to S6 with the condition C7. Right, because this is C7 not, this is C7. Now... At S6, there's no condition, but it's going to go to S1. So S6 is going to go to S1 without any condition. Now we finish. And this is our state diagram. And this part is not very hard to do, so make sure you don't lose points on this. Now after the state diagram, we need to draw a table. And this table is going to consist of our state, so here we have six states. So we're gonna go from S1 to S6. And the control signal. So here we have C0, C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. Okay, let me look at the data subsystem diagram that we have last time. Okay, so to do this, um, it's not that hard to do because here we already have the table and I indicated the step here. So this helped us a lot while doing this. So let's start from here. I'm looking at S2. I'm going to fill out whatever I have up here first. So I'm looking at S2. So at S2, C0 is 1. C3 is 1. C1 is 1, C4 is 0, and C2 is 1, and C5 is 0. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Great, so we have all of step 2. Now, at step 3, we have C0 is 1, C3 is 0. And the rest of them is just going to be zero because remember what I said before, if it's not mentioned here, it means that it's zero. So everything else, I'm going to fill out zero. At S4, we have C1 is zero, C4 is one, and everything else is zero. Okay. At S5, 
C2 is 0, C5 is 1, and the rest of them I'm going to fill out 0. Okay, and so we don't know what's at S1 and S6. So let's look at the pseudocode again. So at S1, done is 1, right? So we're missing a done here. So we just have to fill done out. And done is 1 at S1. So done is 1 at S1 and nothing else is set. So everything else I'm going to have 0. Okay. And at S2, done is set back to 0. And S3, because we never reset it back to zero, 1, so S3 is also 0. And S4 is also 0. S5 is also 0. And at S6, done is set back to 1. And the rest is just going to be 0 since we're not doing anything else. Now, we're not done yet. We, we can still minimize this. So let's look at this schematic diagram we have before from the data subsystem. So notice how this signal only matters if this C0 is loading. So if I'm not loading, I don't care about what C3 is. Right, so only when C zero is on, then I care about S C three. So we look at C zero. Whenever it's on, then we care about C three. Right, when C zero is off, the C three can actually we don't care because I'm not loading anyway. So this one can be don't care. This one can be oops. And draw an X. So this one can be don't care. These ones can also be don't care because we're not loading. We C3 only matters when C0 is on because that's when we load. And yeah, and that's it. After we have this table and the state diagram, then we're done.